So, 14 Mind Surveillance is a new ultimate mode, which is a new mode where you have to make all your reductions in waves, effectively. I wanted to do this video first because there's a different game called Unveiling, which is not the topic of this video, but it uses the same mechanic as this ultimate mode. So, what is ultimate mode? Basically, it is a mode where you have to do all your reductions in waves, where we need to do all possible deductions with the current board, and only once we have them all, will uh will we be able to proceed so this zero means no mines are adjacent to it so i can mark it and now i have no more other deductions possible so i need to click this and then a new number will be revealed now we are playing the anti-knight variant which prevents mines from being a knight's move away from each other so this means there are no mines in the knight's move away from this mine and there's also a thing where we can't have both of the mines like this because those would be a knight move Knights move away, and this three means that one of these has to be a non mine, so it's one of these, and therefore that's on. Are there any more deductions remaining? I don't think so, so we press that, and that reveals, and we are in the next wave now. Hmm. Now, when the board is getting close to being finished, you have to worry about mines remaining because that can also cause some deductions. Uh, I can tell you this two is the most restrictive one that it looks like because, like, Two of these must be mines, and even if only one of these is a mine, we're targeting this square for sure. There's no way to avoid that square being marked, so I know that's empty. Now, is there any more? I see that this three is restricted in the sense that if this is a mine, then these have to be non-mines, and oh, that's a problem. So, because if I do that, this will be non-mines, and the three sees maximum here. And the problem with that is that this also blanks this, and then this two doesn't have enough. So that's also empty. Um, this three has also gotten very restricted, and it only has four mines, so even no matter how I tried, this will be targeted. Um, there's no way to avoid that one from being targeted. Like, there's always going to be a mine that is a nice move away from it, therefore this is empty as well. <laughs> it's a very checkerboardy pattern, this one. And uh, I can also tell you that this can't be a mine here, because that would make both of these non-mines, and this two doesn't have enough anymore, so this is also empty. That should be enough to do the puzzle then, because this 2 is finished, and the 3 is also finished, this 2 is finished, One, and that's it! Okay! Now, in the same update, there were two other combination levels. I have another video on the special combination levels, but these were added, so I don't have any progress on them. Let's check it out. Again, with the ultimate mode rules. Multiple and negation. So each mine in a colored cell counts as 2. So, gray cells count as 2 for the numbers, and negation where the clue indicates the difference in the number of mines between adjacent colored and uncolored cells. But in this case, it's very weird the way this interacts. Let's see if I got this right. Well, I mean, it would be better to turn all the freaking extra modes off to check, but I'm not going to do that. But I think the way it's going to work is that because gray cells will count as two, this will count as zero because that's two in the grays. Um, a single counts as two and these also count as negative two. So that's why the number would be zero for this. Now, just as much of the difficulty is knowing when to stop and click the uh, next wave button, I guess, because okay, I don't know if all my deductions are right. Or rather, if I've gotten all possible deductions, because you will lose the star if you press this button without finding all the deductions. In this case, I know this is empty. Wait, no, no, I meant the opposite. This must be a mine, because any number of gray cells here We'll keep the counter empty. We'll keep the counter even. Because this will be plus two, plus two, plus two. And we still would need a way to make this an odd number. So we need that normal black colored cell. We also know that one of these is a mine. And definitely not both of them. Because this is an odd number. And so it must need one black cell. I think this means this is empty. Because then this wouldn't ruin the parity. Because if this was a mine, then suddenly there would be one mine here and one mine, this would be even, which is not allowed. So this is empty. Oh, no, no, no. I was wrong about the way I described it. Um, and I was a little confused, but here's how this works. This three, one mine is not sufficient. That was what kind of confused me, but this number is technically two minus one right now, which is nothing. That's one, and I need another two with another gray mine. So this actually has two gray mines around it now. So then that would be uh, 4 minus 1, and that would actually correctly equal 3. And yeah, that obviously means the two gray mines are not over here. 
because that deeply overloads this one. Even if you have a 1 mine here, then this would also be 4 minus 1, and then this would be a 3. But it's a 1, so we can't have 2 mines there. Meaning that there's a mine here, and there's no mine on the other side. I also drew a U instead of a 4, and like... Okay, there was nothing else, so the next wave is here. So I know there's a mine here. And this zero and this zero are actually looking at a very similar spot. This is the space the zero is looking at. And then this zero is looking here. If you subtract the intersection of the two, uh, I guess you just do that to represent it, then this spot and this spot must have the same parity. There's no way it can have the same parity if this black is a mine. So that's empty. Uh, I think that's the only deduction. Okay, whew, that's the only deduction we can make. This 0 and the 1 is looking at the same place, except the 0 is different, and the only way to make it different is if this is a, a mine. I know there's only one mine in that section. This one should be complete, right? Uh, no, we still don't know if it's... Hmm. Well, no, because I know that both of these can't be mines. Uh, I'll come back to that. I think this one, though, definitely forces this to be a mine, because that's the only way the 1 can be accounted for. And this 0, then this is a mine as well, because that is 2 on black, that means we need... A total of two on gray, and mines on gray count as two. Duh. That means there's one mine here to make this zero actually equal zero. This zero is actually complete because I know there is a mine here, and that counts for two. This and this also count, so this would be zero. And there's no way to get two other black mines, so this is empty, as well as this is empty. Because I already know due to this zero that there is only one gray mine here. I am done, right? I know that these are either my, uh, no mines or both mines, but I don't think that's information for all this stuff up here, so next wave. That is a six. Well, the six has to be made by- isn't this- this has gotta be like this, and none of them being black? That's the only way to get six. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, that just seemed a little too easy, but Okay, and we got this zero, which sees everything already. I can just mark it. Uh, we know we knew there was a mine here, and we got the mine, so there it is. And wait, I was totally wrong about this being both mines or not. This is a mine. How did I mess that up? There was only one mine here. It's I got three confused on the three. Anyway, next wave. This one is completed, and there we go. One mine remaining. We can just mark that as a mine finish. And finally, the other thing in the update is negation and cross. So negation acts just as before, but now the mines, instead of looking at adjacents, they look at uh, mines in a cross region. So see this one, I think that one only has... What the? Oh my, I, I thought it was multiple again. I'm sorry. All right. I thought, oh, I thought it was like, oh, if I put a my hero count as two. Multiple is not relevant anymore. And I think we do is, what we do is use our standard cross logic, kind of. This two, I know that it's either... Both these are gray, which only count, just count regularly now. So this would count as two, and if we did this, it would decrease to one, which is why this can't be true. So it's either both of these are the black, or both these are the gray, and that's the only way to satisfy this two. And that has interesting results on this section, which the one sees, which means only one of these is the mine, because they're either both black or both gray. And that means this is not the mine, because that would ruin the one mine that we already know is here. That's empty. We have no more information to go on, right? Let's just do next wave. That's right. Okay, this is two. There's only one way to get uh, a total of two, which is both of these are mines, and this is not. Suddenly, we have our black mine for the zero, so this is a mine, this is not. And the zero has one gray and uh, one gray and one black. I don't think we have any more information, so next wave, zero. Okay, here's the interaction with the zero and what we already discussed about the two. If this is a mine, then this two, I already know that, well, assuming this is a mine, then the two only sees the black cells. Now the zero would still need to see two gray cells so that we could fix the zero to be actually zero, because we need two black and two gray, except we've ruined the gray already due to the outcome of the two, so therefore that isn't a mine. Is there anything else I can do with the zero? Because if this is a mine, then, then these would have to be mines as well, because the zero needs to be seeing an equal number of blacks and grays, I don't think this helps. I swear, half the time I'm spending is just looking here, sighing, and being like, ugh, did I miss anything? Uh, next, wait, 
I'm actually... St I, I already blocked the possibility of this being black, duh. So that's actually what happens when you fail and don't get all the deductions. So I've already marked this as empty, which means that this two was always the two gray ones. Next wave though, because there was nothing else we could do. This two, that is a mine, because we had two grays, one black, we needed three grays, one black to make that work. This one, I mean, it's empty now, because we already know where the one is, two. Uh, I already know that this, this is effectively zero and canceling out, this means the two is the two remaining spots. This zero, uh, this is a mine, just to cancel the zero out, and, um, what? Okay, that's fine. I forgot which one that we unlocked, but this one is fine. Um, it had two grays, and we needed one black, and there are no mines remaining at the top. So there we go. That was a slightly embarrassing display, but yeah, those were all the new variants, and the these are for ultimate mode. So stay tuned for unveiling, which will be a video on Mindsword with the ultimate mode and Metalogic, basically. See ya!